Hello, this is Cliff Rosendale again with Red and Pink Legions Part 2. In this section we will be looking at Red and Pink Legions which contain structures pigmented by melanin. Here we have a legion on the back, it's red. And you cannot recognize this legion as one of the five common benign legions. Neither Nevis, benign keratinocytic, hemangioma, dermatofibroma, or sebaceous gland hyperplasia. It's pigmented, so first of all we look for chaos, and there is chaos, it's asymmetrical. Then we look for clues to generic malignancy, and we can see some grey colour and some lines radial converging and extending from a hypopigmented area. So the decision is made to excise and then we look for specific clues to a diagnosis and in this case absent lines reticular as well as lines radial converging and extending from a hypopigmented area point to a diagnosis of basal cell carcinoma. This lesion on the shoulder is red and we cannot recognize this as a nevus, as a benign keratinocytic lesion, as a hemangioma, as a dermatofibroma or as sebaceous gland hyperplasia. It is asymmetrical, it's chaotic and there is the clue of grey colour and lines, radial, segmental and we make the decision to excise. The lines radial segmental are extending from the pigmented structures in the top left of the lesion. We're looking for specific clues to the diagnosis, and in this case, again, absent lines reticular, BCC type stroma, clearly different from the surrounding skin, fine linear vessels, and clods with a central dot. And these clues are specific to BCC as well as the lines radial converging that we mentioned that extend from the clods on the right hand side of the upper part of the lesion. Again pointing specifically to basal cell carcinoma. This subtle lesion on the shoulder is pink and we cannot recognize it as one of the five common benign lesions so we apply pattern analysis in this case, cut some clues. It is asymmetrical, and we can see clues to malignancy of grey and blue, as well as lines radial, segmental, and polarizing specific white lines at right angles to each other, but not crossing. So we make the decision to excise, and then we look for specific clues to a specific diagnosis. In this case, again, absent lines reticular, and lines radial converging and extending from a hypopigmented area and these clues point specifically to basal cell carcinoma again. Here we have a pink lesion on the posterior shoulder. It's a subtle lesion and we cannot recognize this as one of the five common benign lesions. It's pigmented so we apply chaos and clues and it's asymmetrical, it's chaotic, and it has clues to malignancy of grey structures and black dots and clods peripheral. We make the decision to excise and we look for clues to a specific diagnosis. In this case, again, absent lines reticular, fine linear vessels and clods with a central dot. Note, we don't say branched or arborizing vessels because they can be seen on other lesions such as benign cysts and on any lesion benign or malignant which displaces the dermal plexus. But fine linear vessels are a consistent clue to basal cell carcinoma. In this case, they're linear serpentine. Again, basal cell carcinoma. Now we have a lesion on a man's back. This lesion has appeared, it's, it's pink. It's appeared since he was last examined six months ago. It's quite a large size. A basal cell carcinoma would not normally appear and grow to this size that rapidly. We cannot recognize this as one of the five common benign lesions. Because it's 
got some pigment we apply chaos and clues and as far as the clues to malignancy there is an eccentric structureless pink area to the left which is a very different color to the darker pigmented area on the right and there are polymorphous vessels including patterns of linear vessels and significant patterns of dot vessels now while you might get linear serpentine vessels in a basal cell carcinoma you won't get a vast pattern of dot vessels so looking for the clues to a specific diagnosis this polymorphous pattern of vessels including linear and dot vessels is consistent with melanoma in this case melanoma invasive which has arisen in six months here we have a pink lesion on the groin of a 70 year old lady <laughs> We cannot recognize this as one of the five common benign lesions. Because it's pigmented, we apply chaos and clues. And this lesion is chaotic, it is asymmetrical. It's got chaos of pattern because there's a, a dot pattern upper right and the rest is structureless. There's no basic structure predominating. You've got chaos of color because the co colors on one side are different to the colors on the other side. It also has chaos of border abruptness because some of the border is abrupt and other paths are gradual and as far as clues to malignancy are concerned there is an eccentric structureless area being the lower left as well as the clue of white lines so we make the decision to excise and now we're looking for clues to a specific diagnosis and there is one very very strong clue here to the specific diagnosis and that is dots in linear arrangement and if you look at the top right hand portion of the lesion you can see some of those dots are red and some of them are pigmented and this is very specific to pigmented squamous cell carcinoma in situ or pigmented bone disease as well as the absent lines reticular and the presence of surface keratin which was best appreciated on the clinical image and these point very strongly to the histological diagnosis of pigmented squamous cell carcinoma in situ thank you